What is plug and play? Back in the old days, if you bought a new mouse, it came in a bigger box than what you get today because you didn't just get the device, but a CD as well. Then you had to take the following steps before you could start using your new mouse on your computer. Step 1. Insert the CD into your computer. Step 2. Install the driver for your mouse from the CD onto your computer. Step 3. Once the installation process has completed, remove the CD from the computer and restart your computer. Step 4. Once the computer is back up and running, you can now plug in your new mouse into the computer. This is quite a process. Today, if you want to use a new mouse on your computer, then you have to take the following steps. Step 1. Plug your mouse into the computer and start using it. That's it. One step. And that's all thanks to plug and play technology. Plug and play is a feature that allows your computer to automatically recognize and configure new devices that are plugged in. This means you can connect things like printers, USB flash drives, and even game controllers to your computer without needing to manually install any software or drivers. It's also referred to as PNP. So what are the steps involved when you insert a new device into your computer? When you insert a new device, your computer's operating system will detect the new hardware and determines the data area it needs to use. The operating system will then allocate an interrupt or IRQ to the device as well as an area of memory. When a hardware device needs to send a signal to the computer's CPU, it generates an interrupt request or IRQ when the hardware device needs attention. The CPU then temporarily stops what it's doing and handles the interrupt. Once the interrupt has been handled, the CPU resumes its previous task. Your computer will then automatically search for and install the necessary drivers needed to run the device from the operating system's pre-installed list. Drivers are software that tells the computer how to work with the hardware. You can learn more about drivers from our other video, the link will be in the description. If the driver can't be found, then you'll be prompted to install it. Once the drivers have been installed, your computer will automatically configure the device for use. This includes setting up things like device settings and assigning a drive letter if it's a storage device. After that is completed, it will be ready to use with your computer and you may receive a notification indicating that the device is ready to be used. When you are finished using the device, you can safely remove it by unplugging it from your computer. Your computer will automatically recognize that the device has been removed and will clean up any settings or configurations related to the device. But be careful of confusing plug and play with hot swappable. Hot swappable refers to the ability to add or remove a device from a system while the system is still running without having to shut it down first. This is commonly seen with external storage devices like USB drives, which can be plugged in or removed while the computer is still running. Most devices today are plug and play, which includes video cards or RAM. However, devices like video cards and RAM are not hot swappable, as you need to shut down the computer when inserting these components. But the moment you switch the computer on, the operating system should automatically detect and install any necessary drivers or software needed to use the card or RAM. Now you can connect your game controller to your computer quickly and easily with the help of plug and play. Make sure you click on that subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment and share us with your friends. Or go to TikTok and follow us at Mr. Long Education. Leave a like, leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you. And remember, don't do it the long way. Do it the Mr. Long way.